Our main responsibility is to coordinate all, to promote and coordinate research, uh, research across all the sectors, from health, agriculture, industries, and energy and social sciences. We are also responsible in promotion of technology development and transfer, and also to acquire and uh, store and disseminate scientific and technological information to the general public. Uh, the first declaration which was, uh, uh, which was made by the head of the states in 1980 uh, asked all the countries in African countries to contribute 1% to the GDP. And that was actually not implemented. And then there was another declaration from Addis uh, 10 years ago again to try to encourage African countries to contribute 1% of the GDP to research and development in general. But uh, uh, that one, some of the countries have tried to implement. And then there was a Bamako declaration, which actually brought up this question again of uh, percentage contributions to the health research. Um, many countries have not. But I'm happy to inform you that in Tanzania, from 2009, the government have decided to increase its uh, contributions to uh, research and development up to 1% of the GDP. Uh, this has started now. Uh, this is actually the first, second year where we have entered and the government is uh, continuing to increase its uh, allocations to research and development and this is cutting across all the sectors. What we are seeing at the moment is uh, the enthusiasm against, uh, to, uh, from the scientists. Scientists, for the first time uh, since we got independence, they are really excited and feel that to be well recognized. At the moment, we are supporting almost more than uh, 300 masters and PhDs, uh, scientists who are pursuing their uh, training in Tanzania. We are rehabilitating infrastructures, research infrastructure, in uh, almost uh, 15 research institutions. We are funding all, more than 54 research projects in, um, in, uh, in Tanzania. And in addition to that, we are supporting uh, technology transfer to a number of institutions. So this has already, we have already started to see changes in terms of infrastructure, in terms of the research which is ongoing. For example, a good example is the uh, research which is going on in Sogam. Now the, our agriculturists have found at least um, a, 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 a Sogam varieties which can be harvested within a period of two to three months. So that is already uh, some of the achievement we see from these investments. We started to work with CORED in assisting us to try to come up with methodologies which will allow us to set a priorities across the sectors. In addition to that, we have a responsibility to coordinate all the research in Tanzania. So we are also working on uh, with CORED to develop a tool, a, method, a, 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 a portal, uh, whereby it will assist us in first in coordination of all research in Tanzania. So um, now we are working on, um, a, a, on a solution which where this could be done online. And on top of that, we are also a funding agency. We are providing funding to research institution. So the whole, propose, uh, the whole process of calling for proposal, going through the reviewing, awarding the grants, and managing that, is we are, that is also another area where we are working with CORID. They are actually assisting us to develop this cost, uh, the, what we call a cost tech web, which is the basis of health research web, which was uh, developed by, uh, by, by, by CORID. This is the reason why we have decided to come to attend this forum, uh, apart from the collaboration with uh, CORED, is really to think beyond aid. As you know, the economic situation in most of the countries in Europe and US, who are mainly the major funders of development assistance to our country, is not good enough. So we need to think about what would be the alternative mechanism. So, and one of the, uh, the, uh, one of the solution is for private sector now to come in. 
and uh, to play a very important role. And that's why the innovation part, because uh, the innovation component of this meeting is also becoming very interesting. And that's the reason why we, 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 we see it. Definitely, uh, we see the role of the private sector. We see the role of uh, our government itself. I think it is our government who have to take a lead and to create an enabling environment for private sector to start to invest more and also for, for, for ourselves, for our people, especially in the research institutions, to address problems which are needed by the market and so that we can satisfy the market. That is the more sustainable way for development rather than just depending on aid. In Tanzania, you find you have a big number of uh, youths, which are some of them are coming out from uh, from uh, from schools, and they are involved in research, but mainly in data collection. Uh, that is not enough. We need to involve them more in terms of uh, playing very active role in research. What we are doing in Tanzania is also trying to encourage entrepreneurship, and the entrepreneurship uh, is the key. We have started an ICT incubation where young entrepreneurs who wants to develop their companies, their startup companies, we are trying to nurture them so that they can become fully fledged companies in l later. But we have started in a very small scale. We need to scale up, uh, to scale up so that uh, we change the mindset of our youth. Uh, not to follow the path we have taken through, whereby we have gone to schools in order to be employed. So we would like them to, uh, to become job creators rather than job seekers. This is the first forum where research and innovation have been discussed in Africa. This is the first time to attend. So that's the first, uh, first and foremost important. And especially for me, when I was uh, heading a health research, I didn't think a lot about innovation. It's only in my new position I started to realize the potential of innovation and contribution to the economic development. That's the part which is the most interesting. I've also enjoyed very much some of the sessions, particularly on technology transfer on funding mechanisms. These are the uh, very important, um, it's a very important opportunity to exchange, but not to exchange, but also to change the mindset. So this, for me, this has been a very successful meeting.